Peace, y'all, and welcome back to another Urban Eating After Hours with your host, Taryn Lewis. So today we're going to be talking about toners. I had to talk about these because I've been seeing some beautiful, awesome videos, some good review videos of you guys using the toner product on your face. It comes a part of our facial regimen or our facial kit that you can use for your daily regimen. But I've been seeing you guys making videos with it and not using it correctly. So I've seen it several times. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make a video just so that everybody knows how to use the toner and just the best way to get the benefits out of the uh, toner. So uh, personally, we offer um, two different toners. We offer a tea tree and yarrow toner, and then we also offer the rose water and aloe toner. Um, Toners in general, just to talk about what they are and how to use them, toners uh, pretty much help to uh, get extra oil off of the skin. It also helps to get to actual, to, uh, to cleanse the skin a little bit more as well. It helps to cleanse the skin more and then it can also help to balance the skin's pH. So essentially, that's why you'll see in our facial kit regimen that the toner comes after the cleanser. Um, the way that the, the wording kind of goes is you, or the way that your order kind of goes is you cleanse, you tone, and you moisturize. And so that's why I want to make sure that everybody's using the toner correctly so that you get the correct benefits from it. Um, and so today I'm going to show you guys how to use that. Um, my face has not been cleaned yet. So I'm gonna just use this um, for what it is. And my face, oh, I'm gonna tell you guys the difference too between our two uh, toners uh, because somebody just recently asked. But um, the first one that we introduced was our rose water and aloe toner. Um, if you guys are already familiar with toners, you'll know that like rose water is like really, is one of those common um, good ones that a lot of people like to use for their face. It's really good for sensitive skin. Um, and then we also put witch hazel in there, which is another common um, toner. Witch hazel is really um, known for its astringent properties. And we also use roses in here because roses are good for sensitive skin too. So we infuse our witch hazel in the roses, add some witch hazel and um, add some rose water in there and uh, vegetable glycerin as well to just add a little bit of a moisturizing component. And then here we use um, tea tree essential oil and then we also use Yarrow, we infuse our witch hazel in there, and then you guys might have known if you smell that this one smells like vinegar, and that's because we use apple cider vinegar in it. And apple cider vinegar is really, really good, it's super astringent. Um, if you'll see in our last episode, I was mentioning to use that with the turmeric face mask, um, it's really good for oily skin and acne skin. Um, and toners are particularly good for oily and acne skin in general, too, but any skin types can use them. Um, Cause some of them are more moisturizing than than others. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this. Does my dropper work? Oh, okay, it didn't. It was clear. I didn't think it was working. All right, so for the toner, imagine that my face is washed, it's super cleansed, and next up I have my toner. I'm using tea tree and yarrow because that's my favorite one. I grab a cotton round or a cotton ball. So some of the ways that I've seen people using the toner is like taking the dropper and dropping it directly on their face and then rubbing it into their face. That is not the way to do it really. Um, with the toner, like I said, it's really just gonna be that extra help with cleansing and balancing the skin's pH. So what I do is I pretty much just put a little bit of the solution on a cotton ball or a cotton round and I'm gonna take it all throughout my whole entire face. So pretty much just going throughout my whole entire face, making sure that I get all of my areas. And so this is after my face has been cleansed. And so I'm pretty much just getting any extra oil and dirt off of my skin that I didn't get with the cleanser that I might have missed. I want to show y'all my cotton ball because like I said, I didn't wash my face and um, yeah, it looks like it's a different color. It's not white anymore. <laughs> and then so after the toner, once that's done, um, you pretty much dispose of your cotton ball. And so now you have the toner on your face and it's going to make your face uh, primed and ready 
for a serum or a moisturizer that you're gonna use on your face. And um, we also sell a serum, but you just wanna use a moisturizer after this because this is an astringent product. Your face is gonna feel tighter, it's gonna feel a little bit more drier, and it's gonna help to tighten up your pores. So using a moisturizer after this is just gonna help your skin to feel more supple, and it's just gonna help to seal in any of the nutrients and any of the hydration that you've gotten from your cleanser or from your toner as well. All right, so hopefully you guys know how to use a toner from now on. I, I, really the key is wiping it off after you put it on your face. So it'll still like, you know, you'll still have the residue on there, but you're pretty much wiping it off, getting any extra residue off of your face and prepping your face for your serum or your moisturizer. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So when y'all using y'all toners and I see y'all in the videos, I hope to see y'all doing it the right way, all right? I love y'all. Peace.